The main outcome we looked at was death and the cause of death. It was adjudicated by an independent panel of key opinion leaders that included this time, for the first time, an oncologist who might be able to assess whether or not the death was related to paclitaxel or not. The study was initiated after the meta-analysis of Katsanos back in December of 2019. And the first time that these deaths were looked at, they were adjudicated, but no one in, had ever assumed that paclitaxel might be related to death. And so almost by design, they were said not to be related to paclitaxel. Well, in the end, that was correct, but it took another look at everything to make sure that deaths related to paclitaxel weren't missed. So we looked at every death, we got source documents, we wrote narratives, and then we used an electronic system to adjudicate these, determining, for instance, whether they, the death was related to paclitaxel, whether it was related to the procedure, whether it was related to a device. And as well, we looked at adverse events, serious adverse events, to see if maybe those might be related to paclitaxel. Well, of course, we were all worried that there might be some causative factor. There's an association maybe between patients that had drug-coated balloons and mortality, but was it causation? And after this analysis, we were all very sure that it was association, but not causation. Well, I think the conclusion is that the drug-coated drug balloons are safe. We knew they were effective, no one's ever questioned that, but we didn't know they were safe. Now we can say they're safe. What's gonna be our plans going forward? Well, we never figured out really why there is an association. It probably is related to trial design, and we need to figure that out because there are gonna be new trials for different things, and we don't wanna have the same flawed design. We think it's related to follow-up, and if we make sure that we have 100% or close to 100% follow-up on every patient, then I think we can avoid the problems we saw here with trial design.